All right, so this week I got something really special at the grocery store. They had lamb shoulder on sale. So we're gonna do a roasted lamb shoulder with pigeon peas, and it's gonna be really awesome. I'm very excited. All right, so got something really great at the grocery store. They had lamb shoulder on sale. Uh, don't usually get lamb shoulder for 14 bucks. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna roast this and then use the pan drippings and the pan juices to cook the pigeon peas later on. So first thing we're gonna start with is we're just gonna throw some vegetables in the bottom of the pan to help to make this. The pan juices and everything and just give tons of flavor. All, those, all that lamb fat's just gonna fall into there. Just crush some garlic up, leave the skin on. No need to make a big deal out of this. It's all gonna get strained out later anyway. Some celery, very roughly cut. Some carrot, also roughly cut. I've got a few different dried herbs and fresh herbs. I'm gonna go in with some sage, some rosemary, some thyme, fresh. Could definitely use dried as well. A little more rosemary. Some oregano, fresh oregano. And just some bay leaves and uh, fennel seeds. And we'll throw those in there. And that's gonna give us something super delicious. Next thing we're gonna do is we're going to put a toaster oven grill on top of this, so the lamb's actually not gonna be sitting directly on the vegetables. We're gonna put water in there once I put it in the oven, just to make sure it doesn't dry out. And take out the lamb shoulder here. Now this, of course, has gotta cook for a really long time. I don't see a whole heck of a lot of stuff on here that I really want to trim out. Though I'm no expert at this. This is bone in, and that's gonna give us a much uh, juicier whole piece of lamb that we can actually carve later. I'm just gonna cut some little scores in this fat. It's gonna help it render out a bit, but I also get the seasoning in there once we season it, which is really just going to be with salt and pepper. So, I'm going to go in here with some salt, pretty liberally, because it's a big piece of meat. I'm gonna make sure that it's really well seasoned. And some pepper. Try to get every side. I want it to be well seasoned. And then this, let's try to sop up some of this extra seasoning that's fallen off. It's gonna go on our roast on our roasting rack here. All that's gonna drip in there. The other thing I'm gonna do after I wash my hands is to wrap it in foil. Now I'm just gonna wrap this up. 
not all the way, just around the sides. Like so, I'm gonna bring it over a little bit actually. We'll try to keep that fairly tight on there. I'm gonna roast it. Once I take this out, because this is way before we're gonna be eating dinner tonight that I'm doing this. So when it's gonna be actually time to eat, I'm going to take this out, pull the foil off, and throw it in the oven really high just to get it nice and brown on the outside. And so this is gonna go in the oven with a little bit of water. I'm gonna put some water in there. And I'll probably top it up occasionally. This is going to cook at 325 Fahrenheit, just probably about 165 or between 160 and 170 uh, Celsius for about four hours. So we'll see you in four hours. Next step, lamb's been cooking for about three hours. I'm going to start cooking these pigeon peas now. And I'm going to cook them mo until they're most of the way done. And then I'm going to, when the lamb is done, I'm going to take those pan drippings from the pan and strain them out, and then I'm going to put them in here to finish the cooking process with the beans. Um, pigeon peas are really gorgeous, for one thing. They look really beautiful. I don't know if you can see that. And uh, not only do they look beautiful, but they make the most amazing bean broth. And they really hold their shape well. So I'm just going to start cooking these. They'll probably take about an hour to get to where I want them to go. And then by that time, the lamb will be pretty much done and we can finish off that process. All right. Time to get this lamb shoulder off of here. I'm going to go and pull this whole rack off, put it onto the cutting board, and you can see all that gorgeousness under there. Look at all this stuff. Lamby, vegetably, aromatic, fatty, just amazing. So that's going to go into our pigeon peas, which are pretty much done. Let's take a look at this lamb. Woo. Yeah, it smells pretty awesome. In the meantime, we have got all of these vegetables and this liquid in here. Basically like a lamb stock. So we're gonna take this and we're gonna put that in to our pigeon peas. Try to exclude everything else. We're not going to be precious about this. You get little chunks of stuff in there, we can take that out, whatever. Now the next step here, let's try one. Yeah, those are basically done. But you can see these pigeon peas, how well they hold their shape, even after you've been cooking them for a while. Get a little spoon out. Oh, it's really amazing. I'm just gonna add some herbs to this and then we'll put it back on to finish cooking. So I just went and got some more rosemary. I'm gonna put that in there and I've also got some fresh basil, which I'm also going to put in there. And I'm going to add a little more water, so pretty much cooked. I'm going to season it a little bit because the lamb is actually pretty well seasoned. And we're going to put this back on and let it finish cooking. So because this is a very kind of fatty, heavy dish with no freshness, I'm going to make a little tomato salsa to go with it. I've got this nice tomato out of my mother's garden. I'm going to take this and I'm going to make a little salsa out of it. And 
It's a very nice tomato. So I'm just going to cut this up to pieces. Small chunks. Make something. Vaguely salsa-ish. Some, just something fresh to go with everything. This tomato is extremely ripe. Even my freshly sharpened knife has trouble going through the skin here. And I'm just going to dump that into the bowl. And I'm going to do that for... I've got some basil, fresh basil, picked out of the garden. Get it at the grocery store, obviously. I've also got some cherry tomatoes from our herb garden. I'm just going to cut these in half, throw them in. And these funny little peppers that I've never seen before, but that my neighbors are growing in their garden. And um, they're out of town, and they said we could just use whatever was ripe, so I grabbed these out of their garden. They look like chili peppers, and they actually kind of taste like green bell peppers. They kind of have a bitterness, a sweetness, but there's no heat. So we've got our herb, tomato, well, basically just basil, tomato, and these weird little peppers. I'm going to squeeze some lime into that, a little bit of olive oil, a little bit and a little bit of salt, just to season that up a bit. And we're just gonna toss this. The sharpness from the lime is really gonna cut through everything. That's gonna go really good with our final product. So let's move on to our last step, the putting the whole dish together with the lamb shoulder, the beans, the pigeon peas, and the salsa that I just made. And there you have it. Roasted lamb shoulder, pigeon peas with herbs, and a kind of salsa salad of tomato, basil, and uh, that weird chili that I don't know anything about. And it uh, looks beautiful, doesn't it? I'm going to eat it. I can't see it. Are you going to eat it, Margo? Yeah! Margo's going to eat it, too. All right. Show up next time for more bean content.